to find one acidic and one basic radical in the given salt. A radical is an atom or group of atoms with at least one unpaired electron. An acid dissolved in water is hydrolyzed and you get H positive ions and anions negative. The acid lost one or more hydrogen ions and is an acid radical now. Cl negative, SO4 2 negative, Fe 3 positive, a base dissolved in water is hydrolyzed and you get OH negative ions and cations positive. The base lost one or more OH negative groups and is a basic radical now. Na positive, Ba2 positive, Fe2 positive. Ma'am, how can we identify the acidic and basic radicals? Chloride, Cl negative, this radical is indicated in concentrated H2SO4 test with evolution of hydrogen chloride gas which has suffocating and pungent odor. This radical can be confirmed as follows. Experiment Silver nitrate test To the small amount 1 ml of aqueous extract add few drops of dilute HNO3 followed by silver nitrate AgNO3 solution. Observation White precipitate soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide NH4OH is obtained. Inference Cl negative confirmed. Manganese dioxide test. To a pinch of salt, add MnO2 and few drops of concentrated H2SO4. Heat the content. Observation A greenish yellow gas with pungent suffocating smell is evolved. Inference Cl negative confirmed. Bring a moist starch iodide paper near the mouth of the test tube. Observation Starch iodide paper turns blue. Inference Cl negative confirmed. Chromyl chloride test. Take a pinch of salt in a dry test tube and add equal amount of potassium dichromate followed by concentrated H2SO4. Heat the contents. Observation Red vapors of chromyl chloride evolved. Inference Cl negative confirmed. Collect the vapors and add NaOH. Observation Sodium hydroxide solution turns yellow. Inference Cl negative confirmed. To the yellow solution, add lead acetate solution in presence of acetic acid. Observation Yellow precipitate formed. Inference Cl negative confirmed. Let's do an experiment to find one acidic and one basic radical in the given salt. Our aim here is to find one acidic and one basic radical in the given salt. Materials required are test tube, beaker, test tube stand, glass rod, etc. Physical identification of salt White salt, soluble in water, ammonia, like odor. Procedure Test for acidic radical Experiment To a pinch of salt add dilute H2SO4 Observation No observation Inference Dilute H2SO4 group absent that is CO3 2 negative S2 negative NO2 negative SO3 2 negative absent To another pinch of salt Add concentrated H2SO4. Pungent smelling gas having choking smell is given out. Cl negative may be present. Bring a glass rod dipped in aqueous NH3 solution near the mouth of test tube. Dense white fumes of NH4Cl. Cl negative may be present. Confirmatory test for Cl negative. Experiment Silver nitrate test To the aqueous extract add AgNO3 Solution in presence of dilute HNO3 Observation 
white precipitate of AgCl obtained soluble in NH4OH solution. Inference Cl negative confirmed. Chromyl chloride test. To a pinch of salt, add equal amount of K2Cr2O7 solid followed by concentrated H2SO4 and heat. Observation Red vapors evolved of CrO2Cl2. Inference Cl negative confirmed. Pass the red vapors through NaOH solution. Yellow solution of Na2CrO4 obtained. Cl negative confirmed. To the yellow solution, add few drops of dilute acidic acid and lead acetate solution. Yellow precipitate of PbCrO4 obtained. Cl negative confirmed. Test for basic radical. Experiment. To a pinch of salt in dry test tube, added NaOH solution. Observation. Smell of NH3. Inference. Group 0 may be present. NH4 positive may be present. Bring a glass rod dipped in dilute HCl solution near the mouth of test tube. Dense white fumes evolve. NH4 positive confirmed. Bring a filter paper dipped in Nestler's reagent near the mouth of test tube. Filter paper turns brown. NH4 positive confirmed. Result? The given salt contains acidic radical Cl negative, basic radical NH4 positive. Thank you ma'am. We have understood the experiment very well.